。伸出双手就能触摸眼前松软的毛发，是你只保存。Hello and welcome to another Let's Play by me, the Gamer Wolf of Six of Neko Jishi. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go to Steam where you can download and play for free. And if you want H content, aka the limited edition, you can go to the website of the creators where you can download and play that for free. Though I suggest you toss them a few yen or. Um, I'm not sure what、uh, Chinese money is called, but monies. And if you're, you know, not interested in downloading the game, but when the steel will see the H stuff, I'm trying to figure out how to put that back on、um, my other website,、uh, Pornhub. I'll figure that out. So with all that out of the way, let's get back to the game. Yeah, I love double saving. Makes it easier to remember which one's which. Anyways, it'd be easy to talk to Tiger privately, at least, since we're in a bookstore. Senpai's in class, and Leopard can't、uh, read anyway, so he's off gallivanting somewhere. Heh, <laughs> gallivanting. Tiger loves this place so much; he'd probably live here if he could. Lao, not reading anything today. His voice sounded absent as he focuses on skimming the textbooks before him without looking up. It's as if he doesn't really care about how I would answer. Um, well, I just have something on my mind. A vague answer leaves me as I stumble in my thoughts. Not that he seems too interested in listening anyway. This one, interesting. That one. Oh, this must be new. But it doesn't look very decent. I have definitely never seen anyone this deeply invested in the quality of textbooks before. He'd make a good school teacher at the very least. But back to the point. Um, Tiger, you know? Hmm. Oh right. Don't worry. I don't intend to buy any of them. They are far too expensive. While it's true they contain a lot of information. They simply use too many glossy photograph pages. It just serves to drive up the printing costs. Quite unnecessary. Even if they were two dollars, there's no way I could buy the, enough to keep you satisfied. Heh, <laughs> very true. I also think there must be a better way to acquire all this information. Other than reading books, uh, hmm. What about the internet? The internet? Would that contain information as detailed as these textbooks? Well, you probably won't find everything as neatly organized, but at least using the internet is free. As far as your wallet is concerned, it's significantly better to not spend money. Talking about the internet, some of these books do discuss something called forums. Tiger seems to be lost in thought, pondering to himself. Wait, 
I still have to talk to him. Hey, Tiger? Hmm? What is it? He's so engrossed in this book that he doesn't even look up. Come on, give me some attention already. It's just that I want to ask. If I don't go home, is there any other way I could help you? Oh? What do you mean by that? Finally, I've got his attention. Help me? What would I need help with? Are you trying to discuss becoming a Jutong for our temple? Yes. Is there any way I don't have to go home to become a Jutong? Your power to channel spirits is quite uncommon. Something rare and special of your own. It would be a terrible shame not to use it. I'm certain that both your family and Holy Mother herself would be delighted to see you choose that path. But I'm aware of your wishes to stay in Taipei. You needn't make such decisions now. There are plenty of semesters left until your graduation, after all. I know. But what if I do stay in Taipei and never go back home? That would be a shame. And that means that the only way you'd be happy is if I go home? I know what you don't want to go back, Lao. If it does come to that, I'll support you. But truly, it would seem like a waste. A waste of something that makes you special. I can foresee your parents, how your parents would react if they knew. The other guardian tigers would surely wish to, the same for you, Lao. If you do choose, did choose to stay in Taipei, I suppose you could always open a small temple. But if that's not what you wish, then there's nothing uh, me or anyone else can do about it. So, that's how it is. <clears throat> Sorry. It's as I said earlier, there's no need to rush. You have plenty of time to think this over. Just don't go promising your life away to some kitten, and that won't be a problem. Yeah, I, I'll think about it. That's good. For a while, an uneasy silence dwelled over us, so I decided to try and change the subject. What kind of things would you uh, like to look up? On t the internet, that is. Do you want to have a look together while uh, when we get back? Really? I think I brought, brought up his mood a bit. Okay. So, see these books here? I wish to look up this topic, and this one. Most likely that one too. Lao, uh, should you not be using your phone to write these down? Oh, he's caught up on uh, to people using phones to keep notes now. These books look pretty technical. How the heck does he make sense of all this? In short, I end up spending the rest of the night looking up stuff for him on the internet. I want to I wanted to play games tonight too. But teaching guardian tigers is fun. Dentsu. I spend the next few days trying to get some alone time with Leopard to speak with him, which is easier said than done. I can't exactly talk to him during class, and afterwards Tiger always joins us. But dance practice is going to be the, my best chance. Leopard always comes to dance practice. Tiger is always off to the side, brood, uh, brooding, and Senpai is usually busy with the other senior students. Today I make sure to go over to the corner away from Senpai and Tiger to practice. Leopard followed me as, uh, so this would be a good few, uh, be as good of a time as any. As much as it's never boring to watch a leopard dance. Watch leopard dance. Hey leopard, I've been mean to ask you. I get out my words between breaks of the routine as I was working on. A while ago, you told me that you wanted me to go to Utai to be an oracle, but what would you do if I didn't do that? Wait. Wait until when? Wait until Lao go does go. And if I never do? Hmm. You say that your tribe needs an oracle, but if I don't go to Wutai, is there any other way to help you? Help not be an oracle? Like, 
finding some way I don't need to be there physically. The internet's pretty handy these days. People could just send questions and I could answer them back from home. Not be an oracle. I don't know. But need Lao. See me speak others. I get that's how an oracle works and all, but I don't know uh, what kinds of problems you need me to solve. Do I need to do something or can I just let people know what's going on? I just don't really want to leave Taipei. Many problems, urgent, all need solving. But what can I do from you here? There has to be something. I don't know. Oracle, busy. Must speak with many people. What about using the internet, or speaking over the phone? Not sure. I think... no. Hmm. Sure. There are a bunch of things that you can absolutely need to discuss in person, but not everything's like that. And Leopard, he's determined to get something across to his tribe. But what's so important here is is that they actually trust an oracle. But what's also important? Being Han Chinese makes being trusted by his aboriginal tribe hard enough as it is. Being a voice on the phone wouldn't help one bit. Lao! Lao! You tired? Want to rest? Let's take a break. Oh, uh, um, I'm fine. What's he on about? I'm already resting. You mind if I scooch over here? You and Kalao seem to be having heaps of fun all by yourselves. No, not at all. In fact, it's pretty serious discussion. About going to Wutai? Yeah, that. Would it be okay for me to join you guys? Is that even a good idea? Weren't you basically opponents over me? I wouldn't say that. If you don't go home, I'll just keep... You can just help me restore my temple and then go to Wutai. Pretty easy. I know that Ku Lao would want you to go over there ASAP, but it, all that's still up for discussion, right? So for now, we're friends. Senpai grabs Leopard's paw in his to emphasize the point. Leopard doesn't seem to object to the move, but his face is always the same, so I can't really tell either way. Eh, yeah, alright, but Senpai. What's with you calling him Kulao? His name is Lee Kulao. Lee isn't his family name or anything. What's... Uh, that's just how Rukai language works. Hey. hey, I like that. I just figured since we're friends by first names and all, all the time, Kulao would sound nice. Isn't that a bit disrespectful? I'm kind of worried that Leopard would take offense to Senpai's new nickname for him, but his expression never changes. <laughs> for emphasis. I don't really know what to make of it, but at least but at least it doesn't seem to disprove. So Kulao and I are friends. It seems like an overly one-sided friendship at the very least. Well then, you know Senpai, it's pretty rude to cut into other people's conversations. Oh? Okay, I'll just check in with Kulao later. See ya. And there he goes off again. Classic senpai move. Anyway, I guess we should probably continue talking about this later then. Yes. Leopard takes a while to respond. I guess he's got his mind on something else. I wonder what. I can never tell with him. Uh, you should try to keep the, like these things like one day in game, but these are pretty short, so you know, keep going. Just need a good, a uh, good breath. I'm lacking my coffee. Anyways, after that day, I kept on trying to talk one on one with Senpai again and again, but the opportunity never comes up. I didn't expect him to be such a hard cat to catch. Tiger and Leopard are always with me in class. 
Prying Senpai away from his fan club is near impossible during dance practice. It's not any better at home at all. With all three of them there, I can't j just go and have privacy with one of them. But today, I finally come up with a scheme that should work. Bisky Boy is down to distracting Tiger and Leopard with all the food at the cafeteria, while I sneak in a few words with Senpai. I know it won't give me much time, but it's better than nothing. You know, Senpai. Hmm? Slurp. He was eating pork uh, rib noodles. God, I'm hungry. The school cafeteria is famous for having the best fried uh, ribs around. And they're even better when dipped in rich soupy broth. <clears throat> Damn it, game. No one best to tease me. <sighs> Focus. But now's not the time to spill my spill my college. Shill? I don't know that word. Um, you know, about what you want. About going to you uh, going with you to Myloid to help restore your temple. Hmm, nope. Uh, so Loud decided to come? No, wait, so you decide to come? I haven't. Please don't jump to conclusions. Fine. Lau, so what is it you want to ask? Well, say that I want to stay here in Taipei. Is there any way I could help you? I can still help you. Well, it doesn't work like that. There are temple ceremonies that need to be performed. How should, uh, how would you encourage people to come worship if you weren't even there? Like passing along spiritual messages. Before no, wait. before that, we still need to clean the place up, right? What about if I came over on weekends to help with that? Well, you would need to be a priest. It's more complicated than just passing along messages, you know. It may sound weird, but I think you should be all down to earth and stuff when it comes to this. Your reasoning isn't very convincing, senpai. What? Rude. How about you show some respect for your senpai? Well, maybe you should come, uh, you should work on being more respectful first. Here, I am fine. Oh, is this little kitten arguing with Lau? We weren't arguing. I'm best friends with Lau. Isn't that right? Uh, really? Whatever you believe, you may do as you wish, but then you'll be seeing yourself. You'll be seeing yourself back to Malo Myloi. You're so long-winded, old man. If you don't like it, how about you leave right now? How could I? The old man's just the best. You, must you call me old man? Guardian Tiger, old man. Not both of you. And that's how the conversation ended with an argument. That night, Tiger, eh, that night, I was browsing through some tech forms with Tiger. Okay, keep scrolling down. Following his orders, I scrolled down the page, his eyes peering over my shoulder. Hmm, so that's how it is. Now, previous page. I click to go to the back page. Yes, that one. Oh, please open it. Click on the article he's pointing at. Hmm. <sighs> oh, sorry, Lau. You must be getting tired. A little bit. I didn't want to complain, but it's getting kind—it's getting ex kind of exhausting to sit around and wait for him to read each page, then move on to the next one, and the next one. I don't even know what any of this stuff means. You know, I just thought of something. Do does like, um, Taiwan? I think the place that we live in. I'm pretty sure. Don't they have libraries? Couldn't uh, Lao check out a book from it, like college library? It's like lots of books. Hmm. If only you didn't need many uh, need any hands to work the computer for him. Isn't the there a better way to do this? I'm pretty bored just sitting here watching you read. Hmm. Why not ask Senpai to help you with the mouse? Say what? <laughs> For some reason I was like, say what? But no. Say what? 
Why would you... Why should I help the old man? He's the one's pushing me to leave. I'd rather not have to... Uh, have the help of that little kitten. So we're in agreement on that. But it's no fun for me. <laughs> even if it's no... F even if it's no fun, there's no way I'm helping the enemy. Even if it was for your sake, Lau, I still wouldn't put my trust in that kitten. Probably go to some fur site, hentai. They really do have it out for each other, don't they? Should I do something? And of course, this is one of the things where you have to pick the right one. Which is good. There's no way I can force them. I should find a way they can work together. Yes! Right? Yeah, pretty sure. Hey, how about uh, we take this from a different angle? Senpai, if you and Tiger get used to helping each other out on the computer, then maybe he'd stop asking you to leave. Oh? But what if he didn't? Tiger, if I refuse to help, uh, you won't have any other option but to work with Senpai. Not at all. If Lau refuses to help me, then I would just stop using the computer. Wouldn't that be a shame? Uh, it's only... It's only help clicking a mouse. It's not like you need to be friends. He just needs to do as you say. Still, I refuse. Da, da. I need to get that ringtone. Huh? Who could it be at this time? I take up my phone. Oh, and call from home. This is totally going to be bad news, isn't it? I, let me get this. Well, at least they stop bickering for a while while I'm on the phone. Hello? Dad? Lau, it's me! What? Bro? Yeah! Uh, uh Lau, uh, surprise. No, wait. Yeah, Lau, surprise. Uh, surpri Why can't I read words and speak? Lau, surprised to hear me or something? Hey, Dad is the only one who ever calls me, so yeah, it's surprising to hear from you, bro. You know, I'm not the only, I'm not the only, uh, the one for phone calls. Dad's just talking to me about you seeing guardian tigers. There's no way I'd pass up on talking to you about that. Huh? No, I haven't. Should I tell him about seeing guardian tiger? Confess. Huh? Wouldn't that be impossible? There's no way people can actually really see a guardian tigers. Really? Do you, don't you know that I absolutely don't you know it's absolutely possible? No, I mean, how could I? Why else would you ask Dad about it? Well, I just want to know about our family, if we had any kind of history. So you have seen one? Uh, or was it just your imagination? It's not my imagination, but all too real. Yeah, the guardian tiger's actually right here next to me. He can speak too. Speak? Really? Lao, little bro, are you feeling okay? Any signs of fever? I know it sounds hard to believe, so I'd understand if you don't. I also couldn't believe it at, fir at first, so I wanted to ask Dad about it. But he just said it's impossible. Lao, uh, would you know it's normal for most people to think that? No, I mean, you would know it's normal for most people to think that. You're special. They can't see the things you can. I know, but that doesn't mean I'm not stressed out because it's only me. Lao, who are you talking to? It's nothing. I was just talking to Guardian Tiger. For real? This is weird. What do you mean? Well, why can't I see any guardian tigers then? Hmm. Could it be that statue you took to Taipei? It is, yes. So is your guardian tiger really small? No, actually, he's huge. At least two meters tall. Huh. So a huge one came from that tiny statue? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, 
What's his name? Name? I don't know. I don't have a name. Gods are usually named by humans. He says he doesn't have a name. Names are given by humans. Really? So, why not give him a name? Uh, well, I never thought to do that. So, he really doesn't have a name? As far as he's telling me. Uh, Guardian Tiger, do you want a name? Hmm. Yes, he does. I'm a Guardian Tiger, too. It's super awkward every time you call the old man Guardian Tiger. Oh, but Senpai. Uh, well, I don't really care. I'm just a small god. It would be unusual for me to have a name. If it's causing that little kitten uh, to feel awkward, it's all the better. Heh, <laughs> so you're just trying to bully me now. Although, I do suppose Lao choosing a name for me would be really nice as well. It's all a sign of strong bond between a god and a worshipper. Oh, when you put it like that, I'd rather Lao not give you a name. I know. Uh, uh, wait, not? Yeah. Lao, why not give, name me instead? Aren't you already Yan Su Chi? That's your senpai's name, not my name. Lao, please help me choose one for me. Kitten, stop being a pest to Lao. Uh, Lao? What's going on? Ah, oh, nothing. Guardian Tiger was just saying. So, the Guardian Tiger is really right there next to you? Talking? Yeah. Wow. Really? So, can I just ask a few questions sometime? Uh, sure. This, this could work. If he asks me about stuff I wouldn't know, and the details like possession, rituals, and worship, I might even learn something, but on the other hand, well, uh, if I ask some questions, then I could prove uh, you're really seeing Guardian Tiger for sure. What, you don't believe me yet? Nothing is certain until we make it certain. True. Uh, I mean, you'd have to be nuts to be lying to me at this point, but it's pretty hard for, to believe. Uh, I just want to make sure. It's right if you don't believe me. It might even be the best if I didn't tell you uh, at all. <laughs> well, it's too late. You already told me. But still, I'm kind of sad you're the one who gets to see the Guardian Tiger, and I can't. I mean, I've only been able to see him pretty recently. I'd probably be better if my brother was the one who could see the Guardian Tigers, and it's not me. After all, he's a Tong already. But it was always because Leopard and I, eh, uh, it was always because Leopard's of Leopard that I got this power. If Leopard gave, if Leopard gave to my brother instead, then I, it could have been even bigger problem for my family. <sighs> Sometimes I just can't read in grammar, but there seemed to be some grammar problem there. Anyways, you know, please don't tell Dad about this. I know I won't. But you should be more careful. Just don't reveal things to people uh, you'll regret, regret later. And you really need to f find better places for your manga. What? Bro? Don't worry. Put him in a better hiding place. Just be more careful, okay? When you come back home, I'll tell you where I hid them. Oh, okay. Thanks, bro. No problem. Talk to you later. Was he gonna ask questions? I hang up. Well, that was sudden. He's just gonna look at my manga. My brother found my dojins. And now I've told him about Guardian Tiger as well. What have I done? Lao? Are you okay? No, not really. Why'd I have to go and tell him? Now the whole family just knows that it's just going to find out. Well, I suppose all the gods uh, back home already know this. No, so it's not a big issue. What? Clairvoyance and the other one are there. They're, they just haven't traveled here to see you yet. But I am certain they're waiting excitedly for your turn. Now I really don't want to go back. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Hmm? He says don't worry, 
but I'm absolutely still worried. I know I'm just searching for someone to believe me, but opening up to my brother might not have been the greatest idea. Maybe I should just, uh, maybe I should have just said that I didn't know anything. Take a deep breath and look back at my computer. The website I was searching through with Tiger still up on screen. All right, that's what I was doing. Let up a deep sigh. At least that's over with. And with that at 29 minutes, I think that's a good time to end it here. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, if you're interested in playing this game, you can play it on Steam. If you want the 8 stuff, go to their website. And if you want the 8 stuff without playing the game, maybe I can get it back up on the other websites. And, yeah, please comment, because I like comments, and you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay and or neuter your animals to help control the pet population. And until next time, let's play By Me, the Game of Wolf 6 of Neko GC. Thanks, sincere.